Good morning children. Now we know what is Indian system of numeration and what is international system of numeration. So let us try to convert a given number in a particular system to another system. In a class a teacher asked how much is rupees? 5 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 zeros. So this number is 5 followed by 6 zeros. Here Khushi replied it is equal to 50 lakh. And then Aman replied it is equal to 5 million. So who is correct? Khushi said it is equal to 50 lakhs and Aman said it is equal to 5 millions. Now when Khushi said 50 lakhs it means she is reading the number according to Indian numeral system. So let us put a place value chart according to Indian numeral system starting from the smallest digit or the right hand side digit it is ones place followed by tens place followed by hundreds place then comes thousands place then ten thousand then lakh which is basically hundred thousand then ten lakhs followed by crore and then ten crores so let us try to read this number according to Indian numeral system so we will place this number under this place value chart which is according to Indian numeral system let's place it so what do we get if we see here how many 10 lakhs are there 5 10 lakhs which means the number is equal to 50 lakhs understood now Aman said it was equal to 5 millions so when he was talking in terms of millions he was using international numeral system let us see the place value chart according to the international numeral system so here again starting from the smallest digit meaning the right more side digit then what are the places ones place tens place hundreds place then thousands place followed by ten thousands place followed by hundred thousands place then comes million so million is basically thousand thousands then ten million and then we have hundred million so let us try to place this number under the place value chart which is according to international numeral system so we'll place the number here what do we see here we have 5 million so this number can be read as 5 million so what do we learn we saw 5 million is same as 50 lakhs but the important thing to remember here is call it 5 million or 50 lakh both represent the same value and both are equal to 5 followed by 6 zeros which is basically equal to 5000 thousands so understood you may read it as different numbers but the value is same in both the systems so what did we learn 
that both were correct khushi who said 50 lakhs or aman who said 5 millions both were correct one was using indian system when we were talking in terms of lakhs and the other was talking in terms of international system of numeration when we used millions so how do we generalize this we can say 1 million is same as 10 lakh and the important thing to remember here is call it 1 million or 10 lakh both represent the same value and both are equal to 1 followed by six zeros which is nothing but thousand thousands so remember the names may be different but the value is same let us see how indian numeral system and international numeral systems are related so if we put a place value chart according to indian numeral system then we have ones tens hundreds thousands 10 thousands then lakhs 10 lakhs then crore and 10 crores now if we put the place value chart according to international system then we have starting from the rightmost ones tens hundreds thousands 10 thousands then we have Hundred thousands, then million, followed by ten million, followed by hundred million. Now let us see the similarities. If we see, ones are same, tens are same, hundreds are called in the same manner. So we can say in both the systems. unit spirit is the same that is 100 tens and ones next we come to thousands here both are called thousands place and here both are called 10 thousands place look the difference begins here here in indian system we call it lakh which is actually 100000 and it is called 100000 only in international system so what can we say that 1 lakh is equal to 100000 understood next we come to 10 lakhs place or the millions place so here we can say 10 lakh is same as 1 million and what is important thing to remember here that both are equal to 1000 thousands clear next we come to crores place value in indian numeral system which is equal to 10 million place value in international numeral system so 1 crore and 10 million are same now we come to the last place here in our chart so in indian numeral system we have 10 crores and this place value is called 100 millions according to international numeral system so we can say 10 crore is equal to 100 million so that was the correlation between indian numeral system and international numeral system understood now how to read large numbers according to both the system like here we have a large number so first let us try reading according to indian numeral system let us place it under the place value chart so what do we get here here we can say there are Zero ones, six tens, seven hundreds, five thousands, three ten thousands, 
four lakhs, two ten lakhs, eight crores, and six ten crores. So, if we read, we'll start from the highest value. So, this number becomes equal to sixty-eight crores, twenty-four lakh, thirty-five thousand, seven hundred and sixty. Understood? If you are confused, then remember we have crores here, lakhs here, and thousands here, followed by hundreds, tens, and ones. So we read the crores group together, lakhs group together, and thousands group together, starting from the highest value. So this will be read as. Sixty-eight crores, twenty-four lakh, thirty-five thousand, seven hundred and sixty. So see how easy it becomes to read if we place it under the correct place value chart. So this number was sixty-eight crore, twenty-four lakh. Thirty-five thousand seven hundred and sixty. Now, let's read the same number according to international numeral system. So, what do we get here? Ones, tens, hundred, thousands, ten thousand. Next is hundred thousands. Then millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. So, we will read it as. Six hundred eighty-two million, four hundred thirty-five thousand, seven hundred and sixty. It's not difficult if we try to read the millions group, thousands group together. So we can read it again as six hundred eighty-two million, followed by. Thousands, so four hundred thirty-five thousand, and then we have hundred tens ones, so seven hundred and sixty. So now you should not have any confusion between the international numeral system and Indian numeral system, and now you also know how are they related, or what are the similarities and differences. between these two systems that's all for now bye bye children